Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ruby and welcome. So as you can see, my ring light is over there. I just tried filming, but honestly with the light on, it just gets so hot quickly. So I'm just recording without it. And I'm currently sitting at my desk. So if the lighting isn't great, apologies, but I promise you that this is a video worth watching. And if I don't look directly at the camera, Please excuse me because I'm using my phone right now. I'm currently charging my camera. But I did want to talk about this very important topic because I feel that a lot of the time people reach this point where they seriously consider giving up on their goals or dreams. And today, this is your message to not give up. And I'm going to talk about why you shouldn't give up. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So life is too short. We all know this. We don't know how much time we have left. Our time is limited and we should essentially be doing the things that bring us joy, that make us feel fulfilled in this lifetime. I genuinely believe that the purpose of this life is one, to be of service, uh, to experience joy and to live out our soul's mission. And the mission that our soul has is the soul that we feel within our hearts. It's the mission that we give ourselves but so oftentimes we settle for things that don't even bring us joy because we don't think that we're worthy of the goals or dreams we don't believe that we can achieve them we think it's too hard we're afraid of failure we're afraid of success and like the responsibility that comes with it etc 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 but i'm going to tell you the very fact that you desire this thing is one, it's in the blueprint of your soul's purpose. And two, it means that you're capable, beyond capable of achieving this thing. And three, on a non-physical level, three, <laughs> on a non-physical level, it's already yours. So why are you going to settle for something that doesn't make you feel fulfilled when you have the choice to do what it is you love? And if it requires you to take particular action, it won't feel like work when it's something that is really aligned with what it is you desired. You'll feel inspired to take the steps towards whatever it is that you want to bring into your life. And the thing is, there will be times when you feel discouraged because trust me, your girl has been discouraged quite a few times in her lifetime. But... When I remember why I started, that's what really brings me back to, okay, let's do this. And when I look at like my outer circumstances, it's easy to become at times discouraged. I don't wanna say it's easy, but at times it is easy to become discouraged. But I remember to look beyond the circumstances because it's also important to remember that your current circumstances are a reflection of your past way of thinking and being. So in order to move beyond that, you have to affirm what like the type of person that essentially you are at the core of your being that is who you are but right now you are the result of your past way of thinking and your past way of thinking and being is a result of the type of information you received when you were a kid when you were growing up and perhaps that was your way of being your entire life and to change that i'm not saying it's hard um but it might be challenging for some because when you're set in that way it won't always feel easy for everyone to change it but it can be it definitely can be i can say from my own experience it certainly has been a process but i definitely feel better and like yeah anything's possible like i can achieve my goals i can achieve my dreams i sincerely believe that i can feel the joy in my heart and my being when i say that and that's because i've moved myself from that vibration of believing that i can't to i can and so if I'm someone who can do it and I'm not more than you, then you certainly can because we're all the same. We're all made of the same stuff. And essentially we are co-creators because we are made from the, the main honcho creator up there. Like I, I believe in a God, you know, I was, I was raised with like religion type stuff. So I don't agree with religion. Like that's a whole different topic. But I do believe in the God, in the universe, in this higher power, higher self. And I do believe that we are co-creators and that we have the power to create the life that we desire for ourselves. And the thing is, 
You can settle for the life you're currently living, but really ask yourself, when you get to the end of your life, when you're in your deathbed, would you be satisfied with the life you're currently leading? If the answer is no, then change that because you have that option right now. And sometimes people think, well, it's too late. I'm already, it's never too late. You're alive. You have the option to try again right now. You can try right now. Doesn't matter. If it's something that you enjoy, do it for yourself. Because essentially it's doing the things that bring you happiness and joy and love within yourself. If it's something that, like a business, you can do that. You can do it. If it's being an actor, if it's learning languages, being a great neurosurgeon, whatever it may be, take that step. You can do it. You can settle for the life you're currently living and you can spend your life feeling sorry for yourself, really not loving your life at all, just struggling to survive, or you can take the inspired steps to live out your desires today. It's that easy. You can do it the hard way, which is just going through your life playing it safe, surviving until you get to the end of your life. Or you can do it the hard way and take the inspired steps to live out your goals and dreams. You get to choose your hard. And I'm saying hard because I feel like hard is very relative. And the thing is, it's a process, I would say. I'm not going to say it's hard, but it's definitely a process. And there are moments that when you do go after your goals and dreams that you will become discouraged. That's inevitable, at least for me. I don't know. Maybe you're someone who of that belief that you will get discouraged. And if you don't, good for you. That's amazing. I really hope to get myself to that point too. Actually, I'm actually training myself not to be discouraged because that's not a great rabbit hole to be in. But it's a process. You can achieve it quickly or it might take some time. But I'm telling you right now that if you're here, you have a purpose and you have the ability to live out your goals and dreams. And it's not a matter of are you worthy of your goals and dreams? It's a matter of are your dreams and goals worthy of you? So with that said, I will leave you guys there with this. Do what makes you feel fulfilled because the thing is when you let your light shine you really do inspire others to do the same and I speak from experience because there have been people around me who when they have been in their element I have been so inspired and I'm so grateful to these individuals they don't even realize who they are but they sincerely inspired me to let my own light shine. And sometimes, sometimes there have been times when I'm so a bit shy, but I just push, push myself. Doesn't matter if I look stupid. And there's actually this really cool quote that I love that I'm going to post right here. I don't remember the exact wording, but it's like the most inspiring thing. And it's honestly what I live my life by. I think it's like, if you want to, to experience success, get used to being seen as stupid, and I don't know what, I don't remember the exact wording, but I feel the essence of that quote in my entire being. And I just like do my best to live out that, that quote, because it just really, it really aligns with me. And yeah, so do what's best for you. Don't get to the end of your life. Like I've been illiged it from what, what's it called? It's Leo Tolstoy, the death of Ivan Illich. Don't get to the end of your life asking yourself, what if my whole life has been wrong? Because that's, that's a great tragedy, honestly. One of the greatest tragedies in life. And I certainly don't want to get to that point. Like, even if I were to, let's say, not achieve anything that I'm going for, at least I would go out knowing that I did the very best I could. And for me, that's, that's amazing. But I know... I know it's going to happen for me. And if you push yourself and take that bet on yourself, I know it's also going to happen for you. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next one.